What is up, Quaratics? So the brand new Inductor Bicycle released today in GTA Online as part of the drip feed for the San Andreas Mercenaries update. This is the first time we've ever had a brand new bicycle in GTA since when it came out in 2013. There's two different variants you can choose from, the regular or the junk energy livery variant, and they both have the same price and identical performance, it's just a visual difference. So this bike has a pretty unique feature similar to the curves system from other vehicles in game. However, this one refills the faster that you pedal. If you're not pedaling, it will not refill. And to activate the boost, you just press the same button you use for the horn on a normal car. And of course, leaning forwards is the best way to maximize your speed. Something also pretty unique is the fact that it has a digital speedometer in first person, which I think is really cool. It's the only bike to have that in game. And you can also bunny hop with it, which is something you can't do with the race bike, for example. Now with the introduction of this bike, we also receive the new Junk Energy Bicycle Time Trials that change daily. And you do not actually need to own the new bike to do them. It will just lend you a bike and you can complete the time trial. Now, in terms of these time trials, I recommend using the boost, obviously, as much as you can, but primarily while you're going uphill, and of course, using it every time that yellow bar fills up, leaning forward, all that good stuff, and once you complete the time trial within the part time, you'll get about 52,000, and since these change every real life day, that's some pretty decent money for less than 5 minutes of your time. Now, in regards to the performance of the inductor, we tried seeing if constantly bunny hopping was any faster than just leaning forward while boosting, and the leaning forward boosting seems a bit quicker and more consistent since the boost is barely being filled while you're hopping. Now we also raced it against the original race bike with and without boost, and even using the boost over and over, the OG race bike is still faster, so that's pretty unfortunate. We also tried racing it against the BMX bike, and the inductor did beat it. However, for those of you who don't know, if you bunny hop the BMX over and over, it's actually the fastest bicycle in the game. And we decided to test that against the inductor boosting while leaning forward, and the BMX just absolutely obliterates it, it's not even close. So is the inductor worth it? Well, not really. You don't need it to do the time trials. It's nowhere near the fastest bike, so honestly, there's really no reason to own it, but 50,000 in GTA is not all that much money in general, so maybe buy it if you just wanna mess around with it in free mode with the boost feature and all that, but it's not anything crazy fast like we were expecting. But anyways, guys, hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.